Hi folks, this is Diffy Q, Checkpoint Quiz 4. We're given a differential equation to solve. And so we go through our catalog of Diffy Qs. Uh, is it separable? So let's see. If it if it were separable, I'd I'd solve for y prime. Then I'd somehow have to factor out the x's and y's, so I could write it as a product of function, some function of y times function of x. And we can't do that. The exponents don't match. There's no x here. There's a whole catalog of reasons this isn't separable. So the next thing we try is homogeneous. Isn't homogeneous? Well, since I've already got it solved for y prime, I'll examine this function and see if it's homogeneous of degree 0. So I'll replace x with tx, y with ty. Whoops and I get ty minus tx square root ty and so I get a t to the first power on the y but when I simplify things here I get t to the three halves so I can't factor out all the t's um, and get t to the zero so it's not homogeneous either we could ask if it's exact so we have dy dx is y minus square root x, excuse me, x square root y. over 1. So I can think of this as being negative m over n. m, y, and nx aren't anywhere near the same, so it's not exact. Is it linear? Well, no, it's not linear because I've got the y here underneath the square root. So it's not linear, at least in the variable uh, y. So is it Bernoulli? That was the last category we looked at. And to be Bernoulli, it has to be of the form y prime plus p of x y equals q of x y to some power n. And in fact, uh, I can make it look like that. I can subtract things over. I'll get y prime minus y equals minus xy to the one-half power. So it is, in fact, Bernoulli, and that's how we're going to proceed. So step one is write it into the standard form we need. And then we make our substitution u equals... Oop. Before we make the substitution, we have to divide through. So we divide through by y to the uh, to the one half power. And so I get y to the minus one half y prime minus y to the one half equals negative x. And now I let u equal uh, this guy here. All right, whatever this power is here and that's going to be y to the one half and so du dx is using chain rule one half y to the minus one half dy dx and so as I look here I can identify that's going to be u I have a y to the minus one half y prime y to the minus one half y prime is going to be 2u prime. So that's 2u prime. And so I get 2u prime minus u is minus x. Divide through by the 2, I get u prime minus 1 half u is negative 1 half x. And this is now linear as, we're, uh, as it should be. So how do we solve u prime minus 1 half u equals negative 1 half x? We get our integrating factor, u of x, and that's e to the integral of the coefficient of u. So this is e to the minus 1 half x. I multiply both sides by this integrating factor, and I'm going to get e to the minus 1 half x u prime minus 1 half, whoops, minus one half e to the minus one half x u equals minus one half 
x e to the minus one half x. And so the integrating factor, the claim is now this is an exact differential of the integrating factor times the dependent variable. So once again, let's go ahead and check this. I take the derivative of e to the minus one half x. It's negative one half e to the minus one half x. And I take the derivative of u, that's u prime. So using the product rule on this, I would recover this. So that's just double checking that that works. And then on the right hand side, I have this. So now we get down to the step e to the minus one half x u is equal then to the integral, or minus one half integral, x e to the minus one half x dx. Okay, so let's integrate x e to the minus one half x dx. I'm going to go by parts. Uh, the tabular or quickie method applies. And so what I do is I choose u is going to be the algebra part there, x, and I take its derivatives. Its derivatives eventually zero out. The dv then would be the e to the minus one half x dx. Oops, if I could write. And that's the one I can integrate until the cows come home. So I'm going to integrate these. And when I integrate this, I'm going to get a negative 2, e to the minus 1 half x. I'm going to get a positive 4, e to the minus 1 half x. And then I multiply the things diagonally here, and I adjust them with a plus 1 and a minus 1. And so what do I get for this antiderivative? I get x times this times a positive 1. So negative 2 x e to the minus 1 half x. I get this times this times a negative 1. So that's minus 4 e to the minus 1 half x. Uh, plus, of course, the constant. And so now I'm going to take that and go back to my differential equation. I have e to the minus 1 half x times u equals negative 2 x e to the minus 1 half x minus 4 e to the minus 1 half x plus a constant and this is all being multiplied by that uh, minus 1 half I can't forget that so I get e to the minus 1 half x u equals x e to the minus 1 half x plus 2 e to the minus 1 half x I'm going to just relabel re that as a constant. That's another constant. And then finally, I'm going to multiply both sides by e to the 1 half x. I get x plus 2 plus c e to the 1 half x. Now, uh, this looks like an, an explicit solution. It is an explicit solution, but it's still in the variable u. So at this point, I need to make my substitution again. u equals y to the half. And I get y to the 1 half is x plus 2 plus c e to the 1 half x. That's an implicit solution. If I wanted an explicit solution, I could square both sides. But since we're not asked for an explicit solution, we'll leave it as the implicit solution. So that'll do it for quiz 4.